Big Lex caught a popo on Jocelyn, and the woman that threw the drink on her speaks out. Let's talk about it. Ooh, Big Lex is a call to police type of hoe. You talked all this shit, got your ass whooped, and now here you go, wanted to call the police. Remember, this is what you said, hoe. All the time, and I be ready to pull up on this bitch on a ski boat. Like, <laughs> on Jocelyn? On a jet ski, like, yeah. What, what, what I don't like is, is how they make it fair for Jocelyn to be able to put her hands on you mm. and you can't and you can't retaliate and do the same thing back to her. I think Jocelyn should just stay in her, stay in her lane and stay in her position because she's gonna make herself look extra goofy because, you know, she got a long line of acting goofy. So I wish she just stop that or come get her ass beat by me. So, so you ready to go? Yeah, I'm like ready. Her. Yeah, because like, I ain't pressed about it or nothing like that, yeah. but she be acting like she's this big bad bitch that can't nobody beat, and like I'm right here, I've been right here. Right now, what would it be? If I could say one thing to Jocelyn, I would say pull up. Let me pull up. I got for her. I got security for her security, and I just want. I, I want you to. I want. I want to show her how I feel to really get her ass beat by a bitch that's really gonna beat your ass out here. I so. Right. <laughs> And when you get your ass beat down, down to the fight, you call it a popo. But get this, the 911 call that Big Lex made to the police has been released. And we're gonna what? Listen to it right now. Um, what's the address of the emergency? Um, let me, I don't run into the store. Hello? Yeah, I gotta run to the store real quick. Okay. Do you have an emergency? Yeah, I do. I just got jumped at the, the TNC fight, the Floyd fight. Okay. Where? Where? Okay. Where did that happen? That happened at the FLA uh, arena. I had to get away. They, they beat. They beat me real bad. Okay. Do you need a paramedic? Um, I just need the police officer. I'm gonna. I want to press charges. File police report. What's the address here? The address is thirty one three. Six zero five West Sunrise Boulevard. Okay. Are you at a business? Yeah. No, I'm at uh, the Shell gas station. You're at the Shell. Okay. Yeah. And um, when, how long ago did this happen? It just happened like maybe like ten minutes ago, like ten fifteen minutes ago. Okay. Do you know these people? Yeah, I know everybody who jumped me. Okay. Just verifying you don't need a paramedic. No, sir. Okay, where did they? Well, where did they go? Or are they still at the arena? Or do you know where they went? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure where they went. I just know I had to get away. Okay, are you on foot or in a vehicle? Um, I'm in a vehicle. What's the color make and model of your vehicle? It's a white BMW. I don't know what kind it is. But it's like one of the upgraded ones. I mean, we we right here. Okay, is it a sedan or SUV? I guess it's a sedan. I don't. I, I don't. I'm not sure what you would call that. Okay, is it a regular car or is it a? Okay, okay so that was the 911 call. First off. She sounds scatterbrained, like she all over the place. Like, girl, you when you call a nine one one, you need to be more succinct, honey. Um, listen, some people I can already imagine are gonna say that's some ass ho ass shit to call the popo, but others would say, look, you just got jumped and beat up bad, like bad. Yo titties was out. Everybody seeing you get your ass beat. You are embarrassed, honey, and you want revenge. The only way you can get revenge right now is to call the popo, okay? Now, I don't know in the court of public opinion how this will look for Big Lex. Like I said, will people look at her like a hoe ass p or will they be like, well, yeah, she was jumped and ballistic jumped in. I will say this, Big Lex, you were talking all that big cash money shit, talking about this on site and pull up. And when Jocelyn pulled up, you got your ass whooped big time and you were alone. Like, why would you come somewhere alone like that? You knew Jocelyn was going to be there. Like it was headline that she was going to perform. So why would you come there if you didn't have your people? Like, where were your people? Did they go to the bathroom? Like, where, where the fuck were they? Cause you got jumped, jumped, jumped. But I will say this, 
when I was watching the tape and you have people, specifically men in the background, yelling at Ballistic, telling him, stop this, stop this Ballistic. But then you're sitting there recording. Like, dude, what's stopping you from getting in? You know what I mean? Honestly, some of like the bystanders in this situation, they're kind of culpable as well. Instead of pulling out your damn phone, you should have really tried to help that poor girl. But the girl that Jocelyn slapped and then threw the drink at her as she should, well, she has spoken out and this is what she had to say. For everyone who keeps asking me why I ran, obviously because two grown men were following me, trying to jump me while I'm by myself. Blue shirt and white shirt. She's damn near 40 hitting a 23 year old. Her old ass needs to get her life together. She's a hot mess. If it was one on one with Jocelyn, I would have defended myself. I'm not about to let two grown ass men attack me. At the time, I didn't know it was a woman coming after me. She looked like a whole man. I would have fought her ass too. They lucky I couldn't walk in that shit with my gun. I would have shot them in the leg. Then it would have been a different outcome. That bitch couldn't defend herself. She had her little group doing her dirty work like a weak ass bitch, even with big legs. I had nothing to do with the fight. She wanted to hit me for no reason. Can y'all not tell in the video? I threw the drink after she hit me, and then I threw my cup at her. The two wanna be Captain Save a Ho came to attack me. She couldn't fight her own battles the whole time. Cocaine is one hell of a drug. Bitch, go to rehab. Ooh! Not bitch, go to rehab, but that is exactly what Jocelyn Hernandez needs, honey. She needs rehab. But I'm really curious to know what the court of public opinion is gonna think about Big Lex calling the popo. You know what I'm saying? I personally am leaning on the side of, you got what you was looking for. I do feel bad for her, regardless of the reasons. You shouldn't have got jumped like that. And like I said, people with the phones, instead of recording, they should have tried to break that up if you felt so bad for her.